How's it going everyone? I'm Sean and welcome back to the channel. This is video number eight in my entry to the Great Guitar Build-Off of 2022. Just to recap, this is what we're building. This is a short scale base, really. We have an ash top on a walnut body, bird's eye maple faceted neck, and a book matched, probably rosewood fretboard. If you haven't seen all of the other videos, make sure to head back, check them all out. I have them all organized into a nice playlist for you guys. And of course, hit the subscribe button for the next videos. This is not the last one. Just to recap what we did in the last episode, we did a nice big arm contour here. We did a belly carve on the back. We put some holes in it. So we are getting really, really close to the finish line with this one, guys. This is going to be a good one. It's going to be a satisfying one. So grab yourself a nice hot cup of tea, coffee, whatever you want. Get comfortable and enjoy. As I said, we are coming into the home straights with this build, guys. There is not an awful lot left to do. F famous last words, right? I mean, it's usually when you say there's not much left to do, it's like, oh wow, I completely forgot this entire aspect I wanted to do. <sighs> Starting this video off, I'm gonna run a 45 degree chamfer bit all the way around the front and back of this body, just to soften those edges. But of course, in keeping with the theme of this, <sighs> I did not want to do a round over. I thought that was not gonna work. There's you know, there's not really very many soft curves on this. For something that is very curvy, you know, the neck is faceted. These are all straight lines, but there's this straight line kind of hidden within the contour. So that's what I'm going for with this. Bevels all around the sides. And then I need to drill some holes. I need one hole from my pickup cavity to my electronics. I need a ground hole from my bridge area to my electronics again. I need a jack hole and I need some holes for the actual electronics. So cue the music, let's get going, let's do all of that work and let's start finally getting to those final stages and sanding this all up. I think that is it. Well, until sanding, of course, which is gonna take 
a while. All of my holes are drilled. Yeah, there is not much else to do now, except sand this all up and get it ready for some staining. I'm gonna go for green on this. I love the color green. It is my favorite color. And I have some ideas for this. I'm gonna experiment just a little bit. Before any of that happens, I've got a butt ton of sanding to do. I'm also going to stain most of the headstock the same color. So, yeah, I have to sand that at the same time. I'm really not looking forward to this. It's going to be dusty, it's going to be loud, and it's going to take a while. So we better get started. Oh boy, I don't like sanding, but it has come out stunningly. I'm absolutely delighted with this. <sighs> but now it's on to one of the really, really fun parts, staining. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of experimentation with my stain setup this time. What I'm going for is a green only on the flat front face of the guitar. But this top is beautifully figured and I want to really, really bring out the grain and bring out the figuring in this. So I've got a multiple step procedure to hopefully do that. I'm gonna start with, hmm. I'm gonna start with some aquamarine. Now this sounds a little bit silly, but bear with me. That's gonna go down. I'm gonna sand it all back, like quite aggressively. Then I'm gonna come in with some spirit-based black, put that on everything, and then sand that back as well. Finally, I'm gonna come in with the green and that will be my final base coat. Along with the aquamarine, I'm also going to wet down the rest of the guitar. That's going to raise the grain. And then I'm going to really, really quickly buzz the whole thing with the sander as well and just take off those hairs. That's going to give me the best finish possible. And well, it's going to look really, really good. 
Anyway, I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna get this done because I can't wait to see it. There it is. What do you guys think? Matching headstock and matching control cavity cover. <sighs> I love it. I Green is my favorite color and I am delighted with this. It is gonna darken a little bit once I spray it, which is exactly what I want. Which is the next thing to do just before we finish up this video. Gotta go spray this thing. So I'm gonna be using a flash coat, which we use here a lot in Crimson, which is, it's a very, very thin acrylic polyurethane finish. Goes on, it's a nice open pore finish, nice and natural, kind of akin to oil a little bit. But the nice thing is it is a one and done finish. You spray it on, you leave it 20 minutes, done. So that is absolutely one of my favorite things about it. So I am gonna go, whack on a mask, put on some long sleeves, and get this sucker sprayed.
And that is it for this video. Finish is applied, stain is done, all the work is basically done. The next thing I have to do, the next video you guys are gonna see, is assembly. It's definitely, definitely getting exciting at this stage. I can almost hear it. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching. Make sure, if you've made it this far, I'm assuming you've liked it, so make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the like button, leave a comment, all that stuff. Let me know what you think about the color. Go into the comment section, tell me your favorite color of guitar. Is it green? And if not, why not? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you do want to go that little bit above and beyond to support me, head over to the link in my description where you can pick up some merch like this t-shirt, like that mug, or pick up something like a guitar stand that should be there, should be in stock. Check it out. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, it is the best way to support me past, you know, leaving a like, which is perfectly good as well. It all makes a big difference to the machine that is the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. See you all again soon.